Hey everybody, this is Eric, and look who I'm here with. Hello, hello, it's Craig. That's Kenny Wood Craig. <laughs> and Lucky Luca. And uh, we just saw They Shall Not Grow Old. And uh, who would like to share some comments first? I think it was some amazing uh, footage that they recreated and brought back to life. It's amazing what the technology has uh, done and created with this. Learned a lot from this movie too as well. There you go. And the amount of research they took, a hundred hours of film that was pretty much thought of unusable, 600 hours of audio, and how do you distill that down into a story? Wow, that was fantastic. Just phenomenal. Pretty amazing movie. We're getting kicked out, yeah. but uh, I think we all liked it. If you get, a chance, it a, if you get yeah. a chance to see it. 10 out of 10, I still got my 3D glasses on. I'm ready. <laughs> Sounds good. Stick around. Uh, I'll give you my final thoughts. Bye. Later. See you later. <laughs> they shall not grow old. Rated R for graphic real images of war. Directed by Peter Jackson from the Lord of the Rings movies and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, this movie is about two hours in length. We had a longer version where Peter Jackson comes back after the credits and explains how he brought silent, dirty, decaying film uh, in making it into a color, uh, looking like it was shot yesterday piece uh, for us to enjoy and appreciate the horrors of this war here. Uh, we saw a 3D version of the film, and I'd highly recommend it. And this is a very limited release. I, I believe it was advertised to be released for only about two days. I did go on Fandango, and perhaps you can go on Adam, and I think it's going to be playing a little bit longer. But if you want uh, to see this, definitely grab your tickets tonight. Again, this is a documentary of World War I. Uh, th th this year marks the 100th anniversary of the end of that war, which is crazy. I you just I, I just can't believe that that doesn't seem like that long ago um, that we had a black and white uh, camera that you had to turn a crank and then everybody would look all you know jerky and now we've got robots and computers in our hands it's pretty amazing uh, what Peter Jackson did here is to go through uh, endless amounts of uh, audio recordings from veterans and uh, tell the story uh, pick the pieces he needed uh, from various interviews to tell the story of a British soldier enlisting, training, uh, getting his gear, getting shipped off to the Western Front, uh, and being in that hell, and then uh, coming home and, 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 and discovering things aren't that great. Uh, and then once he had the audio story edited, uh, he went into the uh, visual archives, uh, the very poor, decaying uh, film that's either so black or so light and fading or it's decayed and destroyed and he said like the grooves on the side of the film they won't even work in the machine anymore and then that this most of the film is shot with a handheld crank that's why old time people look all jerky in the film and uh, he used all his technology to smooth it to uh, create the appropriate frame rate and the timing recreate the color as accurate as possible the uniforms the blades of grass in a certain town he went out to the same town to make sure the grass looked right. I mean, he's, he's crazy here. Um, and then once he uh, took a piece of film and, and, and made it perfect and made the people walk uh, as they would if you were really there, uh, he uh, went inside and panned as a, as a modern director would uh, to, to really get you in, into the film. And it, it's just simply amazing what he did. It's unbelievable. There's, there's a point in the film where it starts off black and white, um, and 2D, and then he switches to the full frame aspect ratio and really shows his stuff and, and ignites the color and uh, makes the uh, folks walk appropriately in the appropriate timing. And uh, Luca and I, we just both went, wow, it just really blew us away. Peter Jackson also went to great lengths when it comes to sound. Um, he is very interested in World War I. His family fought in the war. And uh, he owns uh, uniforms and cannons. So when it came time to uh, put an audio track over the cannon, they recorded the actual cannon. They recorded uh, actual shells being fired. Um, but that's easy, right? But what they really did is when they go back in the film and people are talking, um, they needed to fill. Like, what are they actually saying? Uh, so they had forensic lip readers come in 
and uh, translate what these folks are saying. And then uh, they determined what regiment uh, the people in the film were from, uh, what part of Britain. And they went and got voice actors from that actual part of Britain uh, to do the work so it was as accurate as possible with the accents. There was a famous clip they showed where an officer is uh, giving a speech to a regiment. And they went into the archives and actually found the script for the speech uh, to make sure that uh, they're as accurate as possible and they could recreate that and really truly bring it b back to life. Not only just colorizing film, and no, 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 it, it, it's much more than that. The audio is, is equally as impressive. Uh, this is not a story about action and war. Uh, it's not political either. It, it is a very accurate portrayal uh, from what I can tell. Um, but it's really about the mundane day-to-day -day tasks uh, that these uh, folks had to, had to go through uh, and, and, and yeah, the, the realities of war, and particularly that war, which is a horrific war, uh, being in the trench in World War I. We learned a lot from this film. I can't recommend this movie enough. So if you are at all interested in this subject matter, uh, go on right now and get tickets and go see this. I'd like to thank uh, uh, Kennywood Craig and uh, Lucky Luca. Uh, Luca is an amazing artist, and uh, I'm going to put his little Instagram right here. Uh, please go check out his Instagram. He is an amazing artist, a great guy. So uh, check his stuff out and follow him on Instagram. Okay, well with that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I hope you get to see this film if you are at all interested in it. Definitely go see it in a theater. That's the way to go see this movie. Well with that, good night, and as always, I will see you on the new.